and seven. Three knockdown rule has been waived. Round one just underway here. Loba Mahias in the dark trunks with the red stripe. First minute of the first round has been a testing ground. My kind of guy just keeps boring in at you. Since he came up to Boston from Venezuela, he had... Well, the talk, of course, is that Obel has fought most of his fights in Caracas, which is true. Left hand missing. Agra now pressing the attack. Obell not at all on, and if there's anything you could say, you got to say that. He has been calm from the moment he came into the ring. Over the head of Obell. That was a beautiful right hand by Obell to Hagler's chin. Right up across. Misses. Hagler with the right hand there to the side of the head of Obell. And another combination. This time has Obell slowed up just a little bit. But Obell stays right in there. Stays pretty calm. Captain Chief Marvin Hagler. that time by Obell. And it's obvious that Fully Obell really realizes that. A left hand of the jaw of Fully Obell forces him back to the ropes. And that brings the crowd here at Boston 30, 630 Central. Round four upcoming now. Fully Obell on the right. Marvin Hagler on the left. Short right hand that time by Obell. Did connect with Hagler with a quick right hand over that short right. Consistency because he is a busy fighter. And Hagler has had that right hand pretty much in Obell's face most of the fight. He's kind of kept Obell off. Fully Obell. Obell has been most effective when he's been able to get him close. There's a right hand that does catch Hagler up on the eyebrow. And Hagler comes right. I know, I know it's a couple of times Obell would throw that right hand and catch Hagler on the way in. Two good rights that time by Hagler. Staggers Obell for just a moment, and another common oops here as we are just over halfway through the fourth round. Another good right hand on the cheek of Fully Obell, and a left hand under the cheek. And another left gets into the nose. Obell has been hurt, there's no question about it. Another right hand sends it back up for once, and another right hand, right and a left, and another left, and a right uppercut to the jaw. Obell just trying to weather the storm, does get a right hand in, but it has no sting on it. Hagger right back at it with a left of the jaw. On top of it, 20 seconds to go here in the fourth round. This round has been all the champion. Again, Hag so we come to the fifth round. This could, be a tell this could be a telltale round to see if Obell is going to. By Hagler, Hagler at him right again, right against the ropes. Obell spins away, gets him back in the middle of the ring now. Willie Obell, the challenger, once more backpedaling and throwing punches now. Another one pushes Obell into the ropes once more, right over on my right hand, spins him away. At a Bell fights back, gets a couple of right hands in, and this time a left hand counter punch by... affected in this fight here. And I think Martin Hagler, he's aware of that. As you mentioned here in the Boston papers recently, there's been a lot of criticism about Philly Obell. One of the quotes I read was he says he... There's a sign of desperation about Obell because he's just winging punches. Hagler's very, very aggressive. Obell really has no legs left right now, and it's just a question of time. Left hand right to the nose of Philly Obell. Still on his feet, though. Obell very rough... And an uppercut catches Obell right under the chin pump and lifts him off there with another left to the face and another left to the face. Combination misses, but a right hand stuns Obell again and another right to the nose of Fully Obell and a left fighter. Hagler was more pounding Obell to the head. A left hand whips him around. And an uppercut, two more left hands to the head. The beat fighter. Five seconds to go here in round five and he will get through this one. Bell has given his best. It's just a question of whether it's enough and whether he has the conditioning to survive. Round six now. Hagler up fully Obell, and Obell remains on his feet. Another right overhand and another uppercut, and Obell backs away again. Her and a left hand, and Obell is down. Back at it again. Left hand right back by Marvin Hagler to the side of the face, and another one. And a right hand. Many punches connecting on just about every punch, measuring his man right now. Right above us again. Hagler, the stalker, goes to the body, and Hagler with another right and a left to the head of Obell, and Obell backs away again, trying to punch with the right hand, but he has nothing left. At least trying to get to the middle of the ring, very wobbly now. A left hand and a right to the cheek, and Obell is staggered once again. Another left and away from putting his man out. 
Obel Gately tries to fight back. Hagler is against the ropes now. And a left hand by Obel catches Hagler on the Provincetown. And it's a good thing he spent all that time there to get himself in this shape. And Obel taking his best shots now back up against the rope again. Referee Octavio whistling right cross by Hagler that time and a left hand up the side of the head. Uppercut still Obel does not go down. Obel against the ropes. He has been down one really does and there was a lot of question about the fact that he was the number one ranked challenger everybody was talking about the fact that how can this man be the number one challenger when in fact he's had something in that left hand too and it just made of his own back over the right hand again left hand right to the nose back so bella whistling right to the side of the head and a left uppercut and now marvin hagler has cut a little bit on the lip although that doesn't seem to be anything that is too serious right overhand that time on the side of the face of obel and another right hand and I seem to be just a little bit frustrated about the fact that he could not put his man away. He's not doing anything wrong. Another left hook right to the mouth. Well, Hagler's doing everything right. And the combination by Hagler staggers Obel again. And there's a right hand to the top of the head. Obel once more is staggered, but comes back with a left hand of his own. And confidence it is unbelievable. Hagler leans on his man. Well, he's going to go out on his shield now. And Julio Bell still on his feet. And Hagler stalks his man once more. Obel comes back with a combination. Misses, though. And three, four quick punches and a right hand to the top of the head. Staggers Obel at the end of the ropes. And the crowd here loves it. And they are very appreciative of a very fine effort for the challenger from Venezuela, Pulgencio Obel Mahia. See, it knocked out that he really did belong in with the champion, Marvin Hagler. He proved tonight that he definitely not only belonged, he gave Marvin Hagler